So here's our first example. It says determine the non-permissible values of the following identities. So that's one of the identities from the previous page. Um, how do we find the non-permissible values? Just like we said, look for zeros in the denominator. So in this case, the only denominator we have is that uh, sine x. So we're going to have a non-permissible value, or NPV for short, when sine of x, oops, the, erase that, the sine of x is equal to zero. Hmm, let me think about that, make a little unit circle here. Sine is the y value on the unit circle, so I think it'd be zero here and also it would be zero there. So I'm going to say that uh, non-permissible values are going to be when x, x is the angle of either zero or pi. Um, and I think it'd be fair to say let's just do from zero up to two pi. Uh, and an another way you could write your answer, so that, that could be a good way to put your answer. Another way you could say is that x cannot be equal to zero or pi. So both ways are fine. You could say it's non it's not permitted. X is not permitted to be 0 and pi. Or another way of saying is X cannot be equal to 0 or pi. All right, let's try a second example here. We have a cotan X equals 1 over tan X. So I'm going to recommend here that we're going to, because cotan and tan are themselves uh, kind of complicated, we're going to, I'm going to say we're going to unpack this first. In other words, uh, we're going to be hunting around for any examples that we can of denominators. So what is cotan? Cotan is really the same as cos x over sin x. And tan x is the same thing as sin x over cos x. So I'm thinking about what are all the different possibilities where I could have a zero in the denominator. Well, like this cos x there is uh, a denominator. Uh, so whenever, so one thing I could say is look for when cos x is equal to zero. Non-permissible non values would include when cos x is equal to zero. Also, when I'm I'm looking on the right here, in this you know this entire fraction here, uh, if sine is equal to zero, then that whole denominator is equal to zero, and also sine is also a denominator over here. So the other thing, I can't have sine x equal to zero either. So I cannot have cos equal to zero or sine equal to zero. Hmm. So in either case, if I say cos is equal to zero, I've got a zero in the denominator, which is like, it really leads to, into a one divided by zero or some number divided by zero error. So if cos is equal to zero or sine is equal to zero, I have non-permissible values. So looking at my unit circle, that would include that's when sine is equal to zero. When cos is equal to zero, it would be there and there. So looking at those four places, uh, non-permissible values, when x is equal to zero, or pi over two, or pi, or three pi over two. Or the other way to say it is x cannot be equal to, and I would just list those same things out again. So what did I do is I looked for all the places where it's possible to get a zero in the denominator. Okay, so here's a your turn. Same idea. We're going to look for any possibilities of having a, a, a denominator of zero. So hint, you're going to be looking right over there. So I'm going to um, stop the video now and you can look at the next video. Try the your turn try, and then check, check with me on the next video.